Hello, my name's Deborah Hodge, I'm 49. I've just married my cat, India. Um, I've been faced with eviction and I wanted to show that uh, I would keep her forever and let no man do us part. This is India, who I've just married. She's five years old, she's got three legs. Um, I love her. We've not got a sexual relationship, um, but I never want to be without her. We had to lose our two dogs, Siri and Starshine, and then we lost Jamal, and I can't be without her. So she's going to be mine, India, the three-legged cat. <laughs> so people might think I'm absolutely crazy, but I don't. I mean, look at the Ukraine. They're carrying their dogs, their animals, when they leave a wartime uh, place and I'm just facing eviction. My cat's part of the family. Everybody knows how important pets are. So I've married my cat and I stand by that. And you might think I'm mad, but I'm not. Oh, my friends already know that I'm absolutely mental. Um, they're just going along with it. But they also know that I would be on the streets with my cat if I have to. I hope I don't, but she comes with me wherever I go, India. As I say, I've lost other pets. I can't lose her. Well, you read from the Bible, you say the words to the universe, you get your mate who's um, ordained to read it and you just say it out loud, you'll state your intent, I'm autistic, I've told the universe, I'm married to my cat. Well, she thought it was absolutely mental, but, but she, she went along with it because she's my friend. So, you know, what can you do? I'm, I'm facing eviction, I might end up homeless. There are people that are, you know, they're slipping through the cracks. We're walking past homeless people on the streets it's become the norm. You know, we, we're heading for Victorian times where we're stepping over families. This is a serious issue, but I'm not going to be separated from my cat. 